Hi, it's me again. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to start. I'm just going to do a base. I've already prepped my skin with um, moisturiser. I use Dermalogica at the moment. Um, I'm a massive fan of it. I've been on a regrowth program for my eyebrows from HD Brows from Milan. Um, and I'm kind of on a little mission to grow back my eyebrows and kind of fill this in. I've been given this from Neelam, which is the, it's like a clear brow set. So you put it on twice a day in the morning and just brush it through. Um, I think the magic power in there is ginseng, which stimulates the hair growth, which grows them back. So I'm gonna show you a really quick base and then I'm gonna go straight into a hair tutorial. So, and we'll chop those up into little videos so you don't get bored. Um, I'm using Bare Minerals today, Complexion, oh, Complexion Rescue, which is Tinted Hydrated Gel Cream. And then I'm just going to pop some onto the back of my hand. It's got an SPF 30. This shade is Natural 05. So I'm going to apply it using this uh, Kabuki brush. This one is from Charles Fox, which is now Cryolin. With this base, I just want to follow... Um, the trend at the moment which is very kind of light natural you can see the skin you, you know it's clear it's gorgeous it's bright and and this just gives me enough coverage just to kind of even out the tone whatever the base doesn't cover then the concealer will so then you're getting less product on the skin and I always prefer less is more but now I'm going to go in with this amazing Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil which is base 2 and it's a pro pencil eyeshadow primer and color corrector. So this is the bit that I always make lighter. It's the deepest point of the face, just in here. So you want to um, conceal that and make that lighter. And I'm going to blend it in with my Spectrum brush, which is a longer bristle brush. Um, and I'm just going to in circular motions so that kind of buffs it into the skin. And it gives you that airbrush finish. So you can go underneath and along the lash line and kind of building up. And then if you want some around the nose area, you can go in around the nose. And then I'm just gonna take this product ever so slightly onto my cheekbone. So it's gonna highlight, pop a little bit around my mouth and around my lip line. I'm gonna use a slightly darker shade, which is the number three. So again, a pencil and just kind of just pop in a little bit of definition and then I'm just going to buff that in with the same brush in circular motions. You can use a bigger brush if you want. You can even go in with your hookie brush and just brush up. So I'm just taking the excess product from the brush that I've used to contour and I'm just buffing it in to, and then come up. This will lift the jowls. If you give this a little bit of definition and darken it up, it'll lift up the whole neck. So then I'm going to use my one of my all-time favourite translucent powders, which is Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. So I'm just going to pop some into a little tissue and then get your brush, which in my case is the Spectrum Mint Coloured Handle AO1. Um, and then just dust all that in there. So you can see it coming off as well. And then just lightly dust over. And this will just take off all the oily residue, but keep that fresh looking skin. So I'm gonna use my MAC uh, bronzing powders in golden and refined golden. Golden's the lighter one and re refined golden is like a couple of shades up from that. Actually, this is refined beyond bronze. So um, I'm gonna use the golden really lightly, dusting on this brush. And then I'm just going to follow that line of the C that I did with the stick, just using this fan brush. And then just kind of resting it and bringing it round. And then just dust all over the neck. I feel like this is so on trend at the moment um, with Fashion Week and the clear skins that we've been seeing. And then just with the darker colour, ever so lightly, just coming in under just to give that little bit of definition. Once I've done my base, popped a little mascara on for you. I'm just going in there as well. I am going to pop my hair into a top knot and show you the most awesome lipstick. I've got to show you something that I picked up the other day in um, Shoreditch, East London, which I'm a little bit obsessed with. You know I love a gadget. Well, if you don't, you will. But look at this. It's a little brush holder from a hardware store called Labour and Weight. 
which I love, and look, you can fit all your brushes in, and then there's this little pot at the bottom that you can use to put your brush cleaner in, so you can clean along the way. Right, so I'm going to use this angle brush, which is from HD Brows, which is amazing, it's really soft, really fine, but also got a really nice kind of firmness to it, so that's really good. Da -da 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 for my eyebrows, but I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Espresso, which is that one. And I am going to pop some out using a fine line brush, if you can see what I'm doing there. So I'm going to get it onto my angled brush because I'm going to brush it through the brows. Um, I love these kind of mascara wand effects but I feel like I just need a little bit more control and um, I'm going to brush through, just brushing the hairs up. What I'm doing with the gel is just brushing it through using my angle brush, can you see? And then I'm just kind of filling in those gaps. So I'm just brushing through and just kind of keeping it really natural. And that whole kind of brow ethos of eyebrows are sisters, not identical twins. So I kind of like to keep a little bit of character. And it's so strange, isn't it? When I've blocked out my eyebrows before, you look so different without eyebrows. There's my brows. Ta-da! that are pretty quick to do just with that gel as I say you can brush them on straight from here but you just get a bit more control the other way around I just want to show you this Dermalogica multivitamin power firm this I'm going to use a little bit on my lips um, ever so slightly it is actually designed to go around the eyes it's incredible it's for it's really 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 smooth I don't know if you can even see it's kind of like it's not the texture of a cream um, or a gel, it's kind of like this luxurious loveliness. So I'm just going to block that on my lips. I'm not going to do my lips in this video. I'm going to do it on the next video, the hair video. So it's kind of like a part one, part two. So moving swiftly on, I'm going to use the Halt and Naughty Lash from MAC. And kind of, I like to kind of get a lot of the product off first. Um, also, a little trick when you're working on somebody else, do the lower lashes first because when you get them to look up you won't get that spillage so I'm going to make the lashes quite clumpy and I'm going to go over them and give them a good coating so I'm going to crack on with that okay I hope you've enjoyed watching this is only part one of this video so you're going to have to please watch the next one which I'm going to put up which I don't know where that is please subscribe if you like watching please comment um, if there's anything that I can do better or do for you you let me know um, and I'll do it so um, yeah watch the next video I'm going to do a top knot and put lips to this look